Breaking the wall of fighting bacteria. Qualified in the Israel lab. Ofa Stempler, Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Israel. I'd like to tell you the story of Brian Poole. Mr. Poole, a 50 years old science teacher, died from bacterial infection in 2013. No matter how hard his doctors tried, they couldn't find any antibiotics that could cure him. Mr. Poole was New Zealand's first victim of an aggressive superbug, and he spent his last six months of his life in isolation, all in order to prevent this bug from spreading further. And Mr. Poole is not the only one. It is estimated that 700,000 people die each year from antimicrobial-resistant bacteria. An estimation predicts that 10 million people will die every year only 35 years from now. But why? Why do these numbers just keep on rising? Well, apparently, it's just not profitable enough to invest in new antibiotic research. As you can see, bacteria have developed resistance towards any antibiotics discovered so far, sometimes even before it reached the market, making new antibiotic research just not lucrative enough. Second of all, finding a new antibiotics is not an easy, not an easy task. So today, people travel to exotic new places, from the top of the mountains to the depths of the oceans, all in order to try and find new compounds. But what if I could tell you that we have found a never-ending pool of antimicrobial compounds, right here, within our reach? These compounds are called endolysins, and they are derived from the most common organisms on Earth, which are called phages, which are viruses that attack only bacteria. Now, if you'd look at the DNA of almost any bacteria, you will find traces of dormant phage DNA that were integrated into the bacterium genome throughout evolution, and within it lies the sequence encoding for these endolysins. So what we are currently doing at the Hebrew University is developing a universal method which will allow us to find and isolate these endolysins in any given bacteria, then use each of these endolysins to target the exact same bacterium from which it was isolated. And the most beautiful part about it is that until today, no bacteria have shown any signs of developing resistance towards these endolysins. As you can see in this short time-lapse movie, using our purified endolysins, we have successfully eradicated our target bacteria shown here in green without affecting any of the other, other bacteria shown here in red. We believe that using these endolysins, we will change the paradigm of the way we fight bacteria as it can be implemented in many fields, from medicine, to agriculture, or even in our food. Thank you. Questions, comments? Any questions, comments? Here, and then there. What makes you confident that you will not develop resistances? You, you did not use it to treat uh, uh, diseases or bacteria, therefore you cannot say whether you will develop resistances or not. Endolysins target a component in the bacteria which is so fundamental that in order to gain resistance, the bacteria will have to change its entire, final its question entire here. structure very rapidly, something that was never observed. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. <laughs>